And that's always a lot lighter and a lot easier to pull in when you've got a fish. It's very, very hard and heavy when there's nothing. <laughs> it's not really hard, but sometimes it's... on the it's size like, of the tide. Yeah. When the sun's shining, things always seem a lot nicer. Yes, we've been salmon fishing together, you know, 32 or 3 years. And she still pulls the net in there like she did when she was, when she was only 60. <laughs> you must be joking. It's a two mile walk, a mile out roughly and a mile back. Don't forget we're old, old. Old age pensioners. Oh, better take changing room could you have than this. I can get the old bird dressed here. This is why it, it's a family job, pulling their trousers up. I'm 77 and everybody says why we're so fit, we eat so much fish. I'm 84 nearly now and a lot of people 84 are thinking about not, not pulling nets and rowing boats. <laughs> We've got Conniger, Pillsmouth, Deadman, the salmon will be holding in the, in the deep water, you know, maybe another week or two. So I'm hoping now for the fish that's going through, find they can't get out, and they'll come back down through on this draft. So that's why I choose this today. I may be unlucky. I may have done better up there. The net is secured on the beach. With a with crew member, which in my case is Sheila. Okay, now, if she's, on, if she's doing her job properly. Why well, steady, dear, not too quick. Which she does most not of the quick. time. I was fishing Conniger many years ago, and the wind was blowing me towards the rocks. I was stuck fast, and in the minute and you're stuck fast, the bottom of the boat goes down, and the water comes in over and, and, and sinks you, you see. I never had a knife to cut the net adrift. So all I had to do was just get an armful of net and throw it all out in a great heap and then make a bolt for the shore as fast as I could and leave it there until the tide come in. <laughs> the funny thing about it, people would have said, oh, Steve Taylor, he got drone shooting Conagher and he's done it a million times, whatever was he thinking about? But it was so simple. Just a split second and the wind, gone. The net itself is the same net. The idea is to, to form a circle from the shore and come back into the same shore again and then you both walk into the centre and you start pulling again, head, core and a foot rope until it gradually gets smaller and smaller and smaller until if there's anything in the net, it's there. What do you think, Ann Taylor? <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> oh, thanks. Looks like a lovely mullet. No, oh, it's a flat Oh, it's a flat fish. Back for another day. You're going to put all this back in again now. Eh? They can never understand in the village of Bronton why a farmer never makes any money and the salmon fishermen never catch any salmon. Uh, years ago I caught 300. But that's the many, many tides ago that was. And in those days, my uncle and I fished in a, in a, in a boat. We never had enough money to buy a pair of chest waders. So he always fished in his mother's skirt. He wore his skirt and bare feet when it was frosty. Because fishing used to start the 1st of April 1st of then. April then, you see. Yeah. Only, only eight weeks now. Or just June and July. And it, it, they've taken away the best months from us, you see. But there were 36 netsmen catching salmon on this river. But now there's only three licenses left, and we're the last three remaining. That's myself and my son. And the other one was a Mr. Cox in Appledore. If all three of us went on a bus trip and we were killed, there'd be no more netting in the tow and towage ever again. But last year they made an amendment that meant there'd always be one net on this river when we all die. I refuse the money just to have this way of life. See the mullets everywhere. I know. Just imagine that was fish. We won't be having salmon for supper tonight. <laughs> There's some in here. Here's, here's the salmon. Keep him coming. Here he is. Oh, lovely salmon. There's a lovely salmon. Look at that. that. Hold on to him, dear. He be gone. Ah, you've got a smile out of me. <laughs> nice heavy fish. But when I leave this world, I'm going to be placed to rest at Henton Church. Right in the sun, with a good view of the estuary. Well, then I, I can watch who's catching the fish. I can talk to the salmon and tell them to go around the net, if it's opposition. Come on, Stephen. All right, dear, I'm coming. We didn't know he was there till we got in. Oh, you were asleep. Far too good for the working class. <laughs>